If you ever want to make a touch picks event and got lost, have no clue what's going on, that's where I was at. So I'm here to show you guys how to do that and make life a little bit easier. So the very first thing that we're going to need to do is create an event. I know it's really crazy. So we can go in here and create a custom event. All right, so when we go in here to create an event, we're going to name my event. What is the name of it going to be? It's going to be YouTube. All right. Language, English, where am I located, United States, all this fun stuff. Countdown is how long it's going to take after you hit start for it to actually do a countdown. So if you want it to go really quick, you can be at 1. If you want it to be really long, go to 10. I'm going to go really short because I'm going to do something else off of here. Beeping noises. I'm going to enable this just because it makes it a little bit easier. The uh, mirror overlay preview would be if it just changes whatever that flips the camera around. And are, do you want to use the front facing or rear facing camera? I use the rear facing so the people who are using everything that I have actually can see what they're doing versus like turning the iPad around and having to look at it. It sort of sucks off of that. All the other stuff I'm not real worried about. Just leave everything else the same. The only real change I do is I do maximum video duration down to 10 seconds. I feel like 15 is too long for what I'm going to do and everything else is sort of good. Screen flash doesn't really matter. This is all Apple stuff, which I could use, but I really don't. How am I going to share it? I'm going to do the top ones because I don't want to do all the other stuff. Um, and then I am going to go in here and change actually the default text message. And what I usually do is I actually go into ChatGPT and say, write me a default text message for my event for 360 camera. So here's the one that I have for my Easter parade. So if you look right here, pictures worth a thousand words, 360 videos packed with a thousand oohs and ahs. It created all this for me and talks about real estate and things like that. So I literally just copy this right here and I am going to put that in the default text. And I'm going to go up here at the very top. There's my subject line for my email. I'm going to go here and change right there. I'm going to put mantle realty at the end just in case somebody doesn't know what's going on. Next thing I do is I go down and I've already copied it off of um, the text message. Go here. Thanks for using the booth. Click here to view. There we go. My text message was too long. So I'm going to delete some of that. Click the link. So there's that one um, and everything else that we've got going on. And down here, props company name app name all that fun stuff now here's one thing that i actually do do because it makes life a little bit easier and looks smoother is i change the foreground background um and i use my actual template that i started with so i'm, I'm going to use the easter template that i had just to show you all sort of what it looks like that i was just making earlier and the app background as you see right here see how they're totally different at the top of the coloring of it and these over here did not work, and I'll show you the reason why here in a second. And then I do that right there. So I have that as my foreground and background. You can actually even change the logo to like your company name. I enable motion trigger uh, because it makes it easier whenever the thing starts to spin, it keeps on going. Um, and uh, I'm going to consent to everything. Now, one thing you saw up top, I sort of missed it, was uh, add the audio file. I like to put audio on here. If not, it just seems a little bit weird. So I have two different versions. So I'm going to use this one right here. And so now I have audio that's inside of it. Don't use anything copyrighted because whenever they go to share it, it's going to ding you every single time. So make sure you get something that is a not copyrighted song. All right. So I'm going to hit submit. Oh, problem with my submission. Review fields. What have we got? Oh, it's got to be an MP3 file. All right, bonus tip of the day. You want to add something? Uh, that was the wrong file. It needed a, to be a MP3, and I have a WAV file. So I'm going to select my file from my computer, click here. I just Googled WAV file converter, and then go to MP3, convert. So now it's going to download and send it to me. All right, so I'm downloading my file here, and I got my MP3 file. Going back in here, click again. There we go. And going back down, I'm going to enable and save and submit. All right, so now we've actually got this done. Now we need to go into the designer and design what our overlay is going to look like. Everything in here to see what's going on. 
I'm going to go to Canva because I like making stuff on my own versus the design templates that they have. They're just so generic. They're not fun. All right. So if you see, I tried to use this file right here. It looks like it's got a PNG transparent background. Thought it would work. But what I found out that it, it doesn't. A um, couple of different things that I needed to do is resize it and actually make it a transparent background. So if you click here on the one that looks like it wouldn't work because there's not a background off of this. If you see a couple different things. First of all, after I made this, I realized, ah, man, I need to resize this. So if you go click on the top right here and you can go to resize, custom size, and you can type in what you want to. On the touch picture right here, it actually tells you what the different sizes are. You can look up it on their website, but I promise you that is the correct size is the 1072 by 1440 in the pixels. Don't make it in inches, stuff like that. So I click here, hit continue. Great thing is, is I've already made this one that way. All right, so I've clicked here and done that. Now I'm gonna come over here. If I just go hit download and download it right here, it actually, I'm gonna show you what it does. Click download, because you would think that it would work, because it said it would, right? Well, whenever I click here, go like this, right size. Oh, please upload PNG with transparency or add the file as a background. Doesn't work. So what do I need to do? Well, I needed it to come in here and actually hit the share, download, and then you see the transparent background. That's where I kept messing up. I was like, what the heck is going on? So you click right here. Now, if you notice, it's got a little crown right here. I have the pro version of Canva. That's the only way that you can do this this way. You can go and take it into a background editor. So if I went to, uh, or background remover. So background remover PNG. So if I went here to remove.png, remove it for free, upload a file, come in here. I'm going to pick an older one. As you see how many times I actually use that. Yeah, it's terrible. All right, so see, it just made everything transparent. And then I would hit download in HD or what, whatever I wanted to. I've already got it. I don't need to do all this. So back into here, I'm going to go back to my overlay, and I'm going to click right here. As you can see, the overlay, it's all nice and pretty. Upload, and here we go. So it, this is my template right now. What I need to do is add it to my event that I want it to be. So if I wanted it to be my YouTube, my test, my Halloween, whatever it is, so I'm going to do the YouTube and add to event and add it to all of them. If you want to do different ones, different templates for different types of videos or uh, GIF or whatnot, you just pick which one you'd want it. So if I wanted to do a different one for the GIFs, then I just remove that. So now I don't have one for the GIF. It would just be a blank GIF off of it. All right, so now we're going to beach ball for a couple minutes because my computer's slow and old. Just trying to get all this information out there for you guys to make life a little bit easier. All right, so it is added into it right there. All right, so if I came back and I'm going to return back the touch picks, it's going to ask me again. Yep, I want to return back. So if I go in here and I look in the overlay section, what do I have? Bam, they're sitting right here nice and pretty. If I wanted to delete it directly out of there, I just could delete it from right here. So that's how that works. Now, after you get ready to get started and want to open it up, you hit the QR code button, and that's how you can get the event going. And then I would just take my handy dandy iPad, go right here to the Touch Pix app, and click on it. Whenever I click on it, it's going to actually ask me what's going on with it. Um, and so I want to show you what it actually looks like after the app is already going up. So I've already scanned the QR code. So this is the way it looks. That's shoot a new background off of it. So it makes it nice and pretty off of it. I use that without the transparent one. And then whenever I go to click the video, it says, move me to start session. So if I start moving it, like it was spinning around, then it actually starts. And if you look at it, it actually has the background and everything. So that's what's recording right now. So I'm 15 seconds and we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to hit stop and record. So now that is going directly into 
right here. And then I can pick which ones I want. I clicked drop to airdrop and I could pick what I wanted. Or I could go to an email or text message. When they put in all that information, then that's whenever they would get that contact email that we just made out of ChatGPT. So that's a more detailed way of actually how to use touch picks, make you an event. It's a lot easier than the videos that they've been putting out. If you got any questions, reach out to me. Be glad to help you out. Thanks.